I always found it very interesting to learn how things work. Processes are everywhere and even a good process can be improved. My name is Jan Mendling and I'm working as a full professor with the Institute of Information Business at the Vienna University of Economics and Business. We are investigating how we can make use of information technology to better manage and to better analyze business processes in a business setting. A business process is an overall goal that you try to achieve by going through different steps. Take as a simple example, renting out a city bike. You have to go to the machine, you have to enter your bank card, you have to select the bike on the screen, and then you can unlock the bike at the respective docking station. Today we have various pieces of data that we did not have 20 years back. One of the sources of data that we can make use of these days are sensor data. For instance, RFID chips that you can attach to objects. With one of our partners, we are investigating scenarios of using such technology in a retail fashion store. One of the important processes for a fashion retailer is how different pieces of clothes are moving through the shop to eventually being bought by the customer. So there's a delivery bringing the clothes to the shop. Thanks to the RFID chips on the pieces of clothes, the shop can automatically register that the clothes have entered the shop and are now being part of the inventory in the back store. Once the shelves in the front store are empty, the clothes are being moved from this back store towards the front store through an RFID gate. Now a customer picks up a piece of clothes, tries it on and buys it at the cash out. Now it is automatically registered uh, that this piece of clothes is no more part of the inventory, so the customer can leave the shop. RFID technology helps to keep track of the inventory in an automatic fashion. We have developed a software prototype that plots the different readings of this RFID data on a map of the store. We use clustering technology in order to find which are the items that belong together and which are the items that apparently are not at the same place with the group they belong to. In this way, we can recognize that such items are apparently misplaced. We can look at those models and see where the most traffic is in the process. And this provides us with various opportunities to give recommendations for improving the process. So, for instance, for increasing the capacity on those activities that turn out to be bottlenecks. Today, many companies investigate opportunities arising from digitalization. In essence, digitalization means two things. First, you look at your existing processes and you try to understand how IT can make them better. Second, you imagine processes that are currently not existing and IT serves as an enabler for making them work. In the last couple of years, we've been investigating various processes in different industries, not only fashion retailing, but also logistics, railway automation and the financial sector. And it's exciting to contribute with our work towards making these processes a bit better. <laughs>